Hello everybody, my name is Sayushi and today we're going to be doing a specific sponsored video in a way uh, talking about the Trove cosplay contest. So you guys have probably already seen me, uh, you know, talking about this in some sponsored Trove videos and so on and so forth, but I realized that we needed to have a dedicated video specifically talking about this contest. And on top of that, I'm also going to be showing you guys, uh, me making the Solarian head because I actually did end up recording myself, uh, making this thing. And I just kind of thought it'd be interesting to show you guys the process of that. It's very, very low. Like I just, I just did it on my phone. No one cared who I was before I wore the mask. But before we get into crafting the mask, let's talk about the contest itself. So there's going to be a link in the description to where you can end up getting all of the information that you need, uh, including the PDF file that has the Solarian mask. Now you gotta keep in mind that my Solarian mask is in black and white because I don't have color on my printer, color is expensive. And then on top of that, it's probably supposed to be made out of like a thicker paper rather than just normal writing paper. That way the mask would not only be more sturdy, but it would probably also look a lot better by being colorful. Uh, the other thing too is uh, when I ended up originally making this, there was actually no official instructions, which there may very well be on the website by now. Uh, so I just thought that these were ears for for the character, but I didn't realize that those are actually supposed to be the faceplate. Oh, so I also wanted to confirm that yes, they do have a tutorial video up on the website now. So there is going to end up being instructions to end up making the face mask. The funny thing is that I ended up watching through it and it's kind of like, it's more like a meme video before like it actually ends up getting into the tutorial. So anyways. Visit our website to find the template, download, cut it out and make your cosplay. This looks way better than mine. So anyways, what do you gotta do for the contest? Well, all you gotta do is just print out the mask, make it for yourself, and then you gotta record yourself doing something in public. I don't know if you gotta necessarily interact with people or even just be outside, who knows? But once you have your video, you upload that to TikTok with the hashtags of hashtag Trove Cosplay, hashtag cosplay and hashtag gaming. So there's actually two main prizes that are going to end up going to the two winners, but by participating in this contest, you will also end up getting some free in-game stuff, which is just gonna, as far as I know, be a single uh, sun charged cash. But the number one winner is going to end up being the video on TikTok that has the most likes and they are going to win 1000 euros. And then the second place prize is going to go to uh, uh, someone who is picked by a jury. So the jury is going to end up including GameAgo employees and myself. That winner is going to end up also getting 1000 euros. So I don't even know if you want to say first and second because apparently both of them are first place. I honestly am just absolutely flabbergasted at the amount of money that you can end up winning in this contest. Like that's crazy, dude. Thankfully, I am allowed to compete. Yeah, not that I would do this seriously, but I wonder if on the jury I could be like, hmm, I really like this one guy's video and then it's just one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are going to have to act fast because there is a limited window for this contest. The contest is going to end up having a closing period of August 28th. So you want to have your TikTok videos uploaded by that time. Uh, and then winners are going to end up being announced September 16th. Uh, I do want to end up reacting to your guys' TikTok videos for this Trove cosplay stuff because I think it could be really funny. But yeah, and then last but not least, I, I guess here you go. This is me making the mask. This is like trying to figure out math. I have an idea of how it's all supposed to go because thankfully it's all labeled correctly. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any color in my printer, so it's all black and white. Uh, but basically, it seems like this is going to end up being the left side of the mask on the back. This is going to be the left side of the mask on the front because we've got these wings that are going to end up, I guess, protruding out the side. So what I'm going to essentially do is just fold all of these in a crease like this and see what happens. So the other thing too I noticed is that this is obviously supposed to be on like a construction paper or something uh, because you can kind of see these very light um, folds right here. I mean, I'm just going to end up kind of folding it all and stapling it together just because that's the only way I know how to do this kind of stuff. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that it seems like what I would normally have to do is cut this out with scissors uh, and then this would end up folding and attaching into a crease. So now that all the pieces are folded it does look a little bit better. Uh, these I do still have to like cut out 
because uh, it's essentially going to end up being the side of the helmet like this and then this sticks out. Again, I don't really have the right paper for this, but eh, I'll make it work. Uh, my folds are also not perfect, but I'm human, so I'm not perfect either. So now you can start to see it taking shape. So this is gonna be the front and then this is going to end up being the back. And then this is gonna be the top and somehow I'm gonna have to squeeze this ear in the side here which unfortunately because of the type of paper it is, it's just gonna woo, blow away in the wind and stuff, right? It actually kind of works. I didn't realize until I put it together that this is actually supposed to be the eyes. Like I, for some weird reason, thought that it was supposed to be like a Solarian helmet, but no, it's like a full like cosplay head. Super do it yourself, <laughs> paper, black and white, staple some tape, but let's try it on and hope to God it doesn't fall apart. And then you too can look like the Solarian. I can't see anything. I don't know if I was supposed to cut out the eyes. Um. <laughs>